Today I'm sharing my adult braces update as I take you along with me to the orthodontist and give you tips on how to handle a braces emergency. Good morning, or good afternoon I'd say. I'm getting ready to go to my orthodontist appointment and see what they're gonna tell me because I'm thinking this is the last leg of my braces journey, which would be only like probably the last three or three to five months left. I gotta head out because it's getting late and I have my appointments like in, I don't know, 15 minutes, 10 minutes, and I gotta get over there. So let's go to the orthodontist. Okay, so I just finished and I had to get rubber bands back on today. I'm so upset <laughs> because I hate these. Okay, I'm almost done though. They said maybe three months left. So I'm so happy about that. So I'll get it and I'll fill you in a little bit more later. The ortho saying that everything is looking good so far. They're very happy with how everything is going. I did get some pictures and they said they would send me some pictures of uh, my progress pictures that they took today basically they put on the power chain and um, my wires and then they added two new uh, rubber bands that i'm gonna have to wear which i haven't worn rubber bands for a few months already and i thought i was done with those but this is in the last leg stretch, like the last stretch of the mile of my braces journey. And we're just doing little minor things that need to be adjusted. So every time I go to my appointments for my braces treatments, I am blown away because they are always so different. And that's just how it goes. So this is the last three months. I'm thinking they, they wouldn't really give me exact approximate because they got to see how this all works going into the next month into March, but it's looking like I'm almost done. So it's three weeks later and I have a orthodontist emergency. This is actually the first time I've ever had an emergency where something falls out, but I have a little coil that came out of my back molar um, bracket and it happened over the weekend. So I couldn't get into my orthodontist until now. And they text me and said, come on in. So we made an emergency appointment really quick. I'm not due for my appointment for another like three weeks. So they're getting me in just to be able to replace this. I'm going to go to the orthodontist right now. I'm heading back out over there, find out what's going on, see if they can fix it. And then I will give you some more progress on how my teeth are going and looking um, because it has been three weeks. So let's go. finished and I will give you an update on everything as soon as I get home. Okay so I'm back from the orthodontist and I thought I'd just give you an update on what happened. Some of this that I'm sharing are kind of like tips for you. You can know what to expect and know what to do. But the first thing you really want to do is just call your orthodontist and tell them what happened. Don't be afraid. Don't feel like you did anything wrong. These things happen all the time brackets and wires fall out. Mine came out because I was brushing my teeth too hard, I guess, with the electric toothbrush, and it just came out. There's a little coil that goes along aside my molar that's helping bring my molar closer to my other uh, tooth back here. In my first video of my braces journey, I explained how I had to have one of my molars extracted because it was either give it a root canal or get it extracted. And my orthodontist suggested the best thing was just to take it out. I didn't need it. They're trying to move that molar a little closer in. So there's not such a big gap for where the extraction is. But these are the concerns that we have because if I try to get that gap smaller between where the extraction was, then I do sacrifice a little of my midline being straight. But my orthodontist is so good and he said, we're gonna try to do the best we can. Of course, they cannot give me like the perfect smile. There's no such thing. But you know, I've come so far, farther than I ever thought. So much better than what they were in the beginning that I'm even happy right now. 
So I'm just so thankful for what can be done. So even though I'm in month 19, they did say I'm gonna need three or four months still because in my last footage, I did say that, but I'm okay with it. I'm in no hurry. I think I just wanted to play along the right timing that it's meant to be for me. Another tip for you is with your braces journey is gonna be completely different from anyone else. And, and so my suggestion is just to embrace your journey, enjoy it. Even though it is hard, like I have so much pressure right here because it was very hard for them to close that bracket, always on this molar because it's so stubborn. They're trying to move that over. So I'm like, okay, this is gonna be over soon. It's not gonna matter. And there's so many other ways that I can uh, deal with the pain. And I also share in my other video about how I deal with discomfort from braces without pain relievers. So if you'd like to see any of those videos, I will put them down below. So basically that's the progress right now. I'm all fixed, emergency's over, and I'm ready to see my orthodontist in another two weeks when I have my regular appointment. And then I will have more information for you in a future update video. And let me know in the comments down below if you are an adult with braces or if you are in your braces journey and how far you are. I do have a playlist that I made for those of you that are interested in seeing more about my braces journey and kind of learning all the tips that I've learned during this time. And I will put that right here so you can watch next if you want to see more. And also I'll link it down below. Thank you for watching. I'm Rosenda Valenzuela and I will see you again in my next video.